What's up, everybody? This Untouchable City Prepper. And we uh, here over here in the city of Detroit, <clears throat> the Lions just took a big L to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But other than that, man, uh, some I had a friend who lost his life at the Lions tailgate, man. And um, I was just texting him about his birthday and wishing him happy birthday, literally like maybe a week ago. And um, really kind of messed me up, bro. And on top of that, I just lost a friend at work who worked for me for a long time, so. But this video is just, and I know it's been thousands and hundreds and maybe millions of videos just talking about black men gotta stop killing each other. Because No matter who we voting for, man, we gotta, we just gotta stop killing each other, man. And it shouldn't. That's why we don't, we don't need the Klan anymore. We don't. The Klan is not necessary. The Ku Klux Klan is not necessary anymore. Uh, Neo Nazis is not necessary anymore. White supremacists is not necessary anymore. Because we are killing each other. Black men are an endangered species to each other. And it's uh it's really hitting home, man. <clears throat> it's really hitting home. African American men are just eradicating each other off the face of the earth. Like it's nothing. And It's really, 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 really burning me up right now that my friend lost his life because he was trying to break up a fight. And not to be funny, but when I see people fighting, I go the other way. I don't try to break shit up no more, bro. I don't. If you're black or white, I go the other way. If you're not my kids or my family, I'm going the other way, bro. I'm going the, the exact opposite way, bro. Because there is no longer a respect for life anymore in the African-American community. In the inner city. And it's so crazy when I go out to these other parts of Michigan. I'm in Detroit. And when I go up north, a lot of Michiganders know about going up north. I see Trump everywhere. I see Trump, Trump, Trump everywhere. And everybody is peaceful. Everybody's respectful. And I'm not saying that there aren't people like that in Detroit. But we we not where we need to be, bro, as far as the people. You know? And I always tell anybody like I don't carry I don't carry a gun for a white supremacist I don't carry a gun for uh, a Ku Klux Klan member I don't carry a gun for a neo-nazi or a mass shooter I do but my point is I carry a gun because of the people in my community are trying to do harm to me and my family. And I think I don't have all the answers. I never will. But I think a lot goes into these single mothers trying to raise men. And, uh, Excuse me, um, 
tired today my day off i just been chilling doing some running around taking care of some business but something just it just got to change bro something has has something has to change somewhere and i don't really know where to begin to start changing it but at the age i'm almost 40 i seen so much crime in the city of Detroit, in inner cities. Been around people who got shot. Known people who got shot. People that been around people who got killed. Like, we fighting and killing each other over nothing, bro. Over nothing. We literally destroying each other over nothing. We so concerned about voting for Kamala Harris or Trump or and we out here just killing each other, just murdering each other, bro. And it's just sad, man. And I hope in my lifetime, or maybe my children's, my son's lifetime, that we could somehow fix this. But Detroit just has so much. It's so much anger in like cities like Detroit, uh, Chicago, you know, Baltimore, and I don't know why. I don't know why, bro. I don't know why. It's just, it's so much hate. It's so much anger. It's so much. Uh, it's just it's just it just bleeds out into the streets, and then and to take somebody's life. Where we supposed to be enjoying yourself is the ultimate disrespect to your community. And I get I get mad because people get mad because I'm voting for Trump because the path we going on 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 the left, it ain't right, bro. It ain't right. And them bringing all these immigrants in, it ain't gonna help. You know? And no matter who is, who is, I always tell people, like, no matter who gets elected president, it's not gonna change your work ethic. It's not gonna change your bank account. It's not gonna change your pay at work. You know what I'm saying? And if it does, it won't happen overnight. But we got to take responsibility for our communities, man. It's not about the police. It's not, it's not about that shit, bro. It's just we got to stop killing each other, man. And I pray over myself and my family and my friends because... It could have been a lot of times I could have been in a lot of gun battles and gunfights and, and stuff like that. And um, I walked away, you know, and they called me whatever, you know, oh, you, you weak, you a fake, you know, you a bitch, you ain't shit, you know, you know, all kind of shit, you know, I walk, and I walked away because I didn't want to put my firearm you know because in my mind if I could walk away without getting into a fight as long as you don't touch me I'm cool you know as long as you don't touch me I'm cool bro you touch me we're gonna have a problem but as long as you don't touch me I'm cool man I'm cool I'll walk away you know what I'm saying I'll take I'll take whatever name if I can go home to my family I'm good, you know. I don't need to pull my firearm out to prove a point. You know, you can call me whatever. You know, you can take my park spot. You can cut me off. You can flip me off. You can call me whatever you like. I'm going to look at you like a hawk. But as long as you don't try to touch me or come at me, we good. You know what I'm saying? Um, not saying don't stand up for yourself, but 
as black men, we just got to be smarter, bro. We got to be smarter. We just got to be smarter, man. Because now, we already counted out. We already looked at it as a statistic. We already said that four out of ten black men are going to be incarcerated. Then one out of one out of ten black men are going to be homosexuals. And then the other ones are just going to be a failure. So we already, we already at a huge disadvantage. That's why I believe that so many women are going homosexual. I mean, uh, bisexual and, and lesbianism is so rampant in the, in the African-American community because women are spending more time with women. And they're, they're not seeing male leadership. <clears throat> You know, but that's a different situation. And it, that's a different conversation. You know, but <clears throat> we just gotta stop killing each other, man. We just we just do, man. And I don't know what it's gonna take, but we the only community of people who continue to just destroy each other consistently. And it's like I said, it's over absolutely nothing, bro. It's over absolutely nothing. So that's my video for today. <clears throat> I love you guys with the strength of Christ. Thank you for tuning in. And um, I hope my message gets across from one person to another. And maybe we could do something different, man. Peace.